Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about which filters to use for your guys' lenses. We're going to be talking about three filters in today's video, the polarizer, the ND filter, and uh, the Black Pro Mist. I keep forgetting the name of the Black Pro Mist, but it's the Black Pro Mist. So first up on the list, we're going to be talking about the ND filter. The best way to think about this is it's sunglasses for your camera lens. So for example, if I just put this over the camera lens, you can see it gets way darker. Maybe a little bit more cinematic too. I never thought of that. But... So yeah, the best way to think about these is sunglasses for your camera lens. So this has, now, I'm not an expert. I don't know what the whole like 13 or two stops of ND means. To me, it's just brighter and darker. So this is a circular ND, which means theoretically, this will get darker and darker as you turn it, almost turning pretty much black. Photography wise, the best way to use these is for your long exposure. So if you were taking a picture of a landscape with water and you wanted the, so when the water is running, uh, you can actually do a long exposure, which means you can get those silky smooth rivers, etc., or whatever kind of water you're filming. For video, this is perfect if you go by the 180 rule and use the perfect shutter speed outside, your footage is most likely going to be overexposed. So putting something like this on it actually helps expose your image while keeping the 180 rule. And that's my short rundown on the ND filter. So that was the ND filter and right now we're going to move on to the circular polarizer. Now this is probably my favorite filter to use and this is probably the only filter I daily because I do car photography. Now the reason this is great for car photography is it cuts out reflections in the paint. So if you really want to get that true paint color, you need to cut out the reflections to use one of these. So yeah, this is circular polarizer. Best way to explain it, it just cuts out reflections. So I don't know if it'll be able to really do it here. So yeah, this cuts the reflections in almost anything. It also, you can bring back the sky with it so you can have it polarize the sky, which means it'll give you bluer blues and greener greens and leaves and stuff like that. It's honestly just the best all around filter. I daily this thing for a reason. It's just great. So next up we have the Black Pro Mist. Now this is probably my favorite creative fun filter. So anyways, what a Black Pro Mist does or what your DIY Pro Mist does is it softens skin tones, it softens highlights, and it just makes everything look really dreamy. So here's what the shot looks like now, and here's what it looks like with the Black Pro Mist. A lot dreamier. You can see my skin tones may be a little bit smoother. The light bulb in the background is a lot more bloomy. You can see how it really spreads out, and the footage just looks a lot more dreamy. Things that these can be used for is obviously if you don't want to do the dreamy edit in post because it's honestly, I don't like doing the dreamy edit in post. I don't think it looks that good. This is also good for portraits because it just blooms all the highlights, softens the skin tones, makes it look great and you don't lose that clarity. If you still zoom in, you magnify it up, you still got your sharpness. So honestly, all around, this is a super fun filter to use if there's any moment where you guys have highlights in the background, you guys are doing portraits, this is a great filter to use and it's super cheap if you do the DIY route. If you wanna do the actual branded route, I would go with the Tiffin Black Pro Mist, obviously get the biggest size, I think it's like an 82 millimeter. Uh, that'll probably cost you about 100 bucks. Uh, that's the reason I actually didn't want to buy it was because I didn't have a hundred dollars to spend on a filter I probably wasn't going to use that often So I DIY'd it so I'm gonna rate all these filters on a scale of 1 to 10 Based on how much you actually need it 10 being you should definitely always have this on so first the black pro mist This is definitely a three. Okay. I just launched it So for the black pro mist this is definitely a three It's not something you always need but something that you could definitely have fun with on a fun scale, this is definitely a 10 for me because I love this thing. Next up, we got the circular polarizer. This to me is an absolute nine. I literally never take it off my lens. Obviously for this video, I had it off because I need to review it, but I never take it off my lens. It's an exceptional thing to buy. And this one that I have, it's not an expensive one. It's a Tiffin uh, circular polarizer. Make sure it's circular so you can actually change the direction of the reflection. You can move you can literally move the reflection so basically on amazon i think this will run you about 15 bucks it's uh the tiffin brand let's see if i can close enough so this is definitely the cheapest well other than the diy one this is definitely the cheapest filter on the list and this is definitely the one i think that you should go for so yeah this is for me a 9 out of 10 on the necessity scale 
Now for the ND filter, so many people will tell you that you need this and you need to daily it. But blah, 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 blah. simplest way to go about it, you don't. You don't always need sunglasses for your camera. Do you always wear sunglasses when you leave your house, when you go everywhere you go? Probably not. Where was I going with that? Probably not. So why do you think that you need this everywhere you go? You just don't. And uh, that's the best way that I can explain it. You don't need it everywhere you go. So I can't stress enough, please don't waste all your money on an ND filter. It's not worth it. But if you are looking for specific needs that only an ND filter can produce for you, I definitely recommend it. And I definitely recommend it if you're gonna be vlogging outside in bright sunlight and following the 180 rule. If you wanna follow the 180 rule and vlog outside, you need an ND filter. So on my personal necessity scale, this is a five out of 10. Uh, this is not needed for me. I almost never use it. If I'm vlogging outside, I'm gonna use it. But other than that, I don't need it. I don't need it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a month. I really am. I've been struggling with ideas. I've also been working on my own personal videos that I have for clients. So I've been really busy with that. So thank you so much if you guys watch this video and you're coming from previous videos, that means a lot. Make sure you subscribe and like the, like the video because I really want to grow this channel and make it a big photography channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, right down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.